last one, based on uh, Saeed's question about the, the uh, demolition of the, the university. I don't know if you've seen the video. It's pretty widely available. I have seen but the it video. Certainly looks, I mean, it looks like a controlled demolition. It looks like what we do here in this country when we're taking down an old hotel or a stadium. Um, and you have nothing to say? You I, have nothing to say about this? I, I mean, it, to do that kind of an explosion, you need to be in there. You have to put the explosives down, and it takes a lot of planning and preparation to do. And if there was a threat from this particular facility, they wouldn't have been able to do it. So I have seen the video. Uh, I can tell you that it is something we uh, are raising with the governor of Israel, as we do often do uh, when we well, see raising as when, what? When, like, when we see to to ask questions and 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 find out what the underlying situation is, as we often do when we see reports of this nature. Um, but I'm not able to characterize the actual facts on the ground before hearing that that response. Yeah, but you saw the video. I did see the video. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what was under that building. I don't know what was under that building. I don't know what was uh, inside, well, yeah, inside but It doesn't matter what was under the building because they obviously got in there to put the explosives down to, to, so, to do it in I, the way that they did. Uh, again, I'm, I, I'm glad you have factual certainty about it. I just, I just don't. I don't. All I, I have just don't. is what I, I saw I, in the video. I just right? don't. And I think you guys but saw I can it too. Say, uh, we did see it. And I can say that we have raised it with and the government of Israel. And it's not troubling to you? Uh, we are always troubled by the by um, uh, any degradation of civilian infrastructure in Gaza, but without knowing the actual underlying circumstances, I'm a little hesitant. I think for reasons that should be understandable to pass definitive judgment on it from this podium. Can I ask you just a, a yes, follow up? Not, not on this issue, next. but but on something that you said. You said you see an end to this conflict in the, the short term, and so on. yeah. What what does this end look like in your view? So we believe that there are military goals that are achievable for the government of Israel. But to get into the point I was making, that ultimately uh, there also needs to be a political resolution, and there needs to be a political path towards statehood for the Palestinian people. I understand, period. but but this this conflict. I mean, how would it end? How is it going to end? I did not bring my crystal ball today, right. Saeed, so I'm afraid right. I'm well, not going to offer you, any you, any but predictions. But you've become but, quite an but expert. I, at the, at what's the, that? I'm saying you guys have a great deal of expertise uh, that basically can give you sort of a direction on how this is going to end uh, at one point, whether it's next month or in two months or whatever. So I'm not, I am not going to make predictions about it, but we do believe that this conflict, as all conflicts do, will end at some point, and that there needs to be a political path forward for the establishment of a Palestinian state. That is the only way not just to answer the legitimate hopes, dreams, aspirations of the Palestinian people, but it is also, and this is critical, the only way to provide lasting security for the Israeli people. Oh.